We all thought our plastic shopping bags were being recycled, but the sad truth has been laid bare. Thousands of tonnes of plastic stockpiled in massive stacks across the country. It's a race to clean up the mess. I smell a rat because we didn't take one bar to recycling. And I'm a bit curious now about whose responsibility it would be, as in who has to get rid of them. It's really disappointing to see it in these conditions. We really want to tackle the problem around soft plastics. They're the soft plastic problems dotted around the country. Large stockpiles of bags that could and should have been recycled, instead sitting idle. Adam Gilligan from the Environment Protection Authority says there are 15 sites and around 5,000 tonnes in New South Wales alone. It is a large scale problem and it's quite concerning because what we've seen is com consumers have done the right thing. They've taken this material to the stores to be recycled. Unfortunately, we're seeing it stockpiled in these conditions. The stockpiles were uncovered after Red Cycle, Australia's largest soft plastic recycling program, collapsed, owing $5 million in debts. Ashley O'Connor from O'Connor Haulage says he's out of pocket and out of space. The first bale that come in here has not moved out of this warehouse. And that's uh, three, three years ago. And then they haven't paid us since August last year until February. That's when Coles and Woolworths took over. Um, it's just on $200,000. And that's just me. Ursula lives near one of the sites in Sydney's northwest and isn't impressed. Being plastic, no, it's hot. Snakes are going to like it because it's heat and everything, so it'll become nesting areas. What these stockpiles show is that consumers are clearly keen to do their part. They're happy to recycle when the government and businesses make it easy for them. The problem is there currently isn't enough capacity to process this amount of soft plastics. So it's not yet clear whether all of these recyclables will actually be recycled. We're trying to force a change, but I think it just got out of hand, unfortunately. But Joe Foster from Close the Loop says all is not lost. We actually take the plastic bags uh, as well as the toner from toner cartridges and we make a product called Tonerplast. Now that Tonerplast is actually quite an interesting product. It's actually an asphalt additive that's used for the roads here in Australia. For every kilometre of, of road using our product Tonerplast, we use in excess of 230,000 actual plastic bags. The Melbourne-based recycling facility unfortunately suffered a fire last year, which meant it could no longer process waste from Red Cycle, magnifying the mess. So we're in the process of rebuilding our, our plant and we would expect to be up and running by, um, by the second half of this year. And uh, our anticipation is that we would be producing in excess of about four times the volume that we were producing before. Daniel Gallagher from IQ Renew is also keen to be a part of the solution. Oh, what are we going to do, leave it for our kids to make a change? That's, that's wrong, that's selfish. His R&D facility on the New South Wales Central Coast is already sorting, cleaning and preparing soft plastics for a new life, thanks to the help of the local community. Being able to put the soft plastics in a recovered bag, uh, being able to transport that. This plant here could do 6,000 tonnes of very complex material per annum. We turn it into this here. Next step for this is into um, pellets. And these pellets here are made from this particular material. We want to build the trust back to the consumer that yes, something's going to happen with this plastic bag that you've been holding into your cupboard. The EPA has put the supermarkets on notice. This material poses a risk to workers on site, it poses a risk to local communities and it poses a risk to the environment. The most significant risk is around fire safety, but we're also concerned about things like windblown litter and water pollution, and it's important therefore that we get this material to somewhere safe and lawful as quickly as possible. How long do the supermarkets have to get this sorted? until um, May for this material here, um, but then they've got a period of 12 months to see it uh, reprocessed uh, either onshore, reprocessed via exporting, or as a last resort to landfill. Moving forward, recyclers say the government needs to make recycled soft plastics valuable so they don't go to waste. And let's mandate the use of recycled content back into packaging. 
As we move from dealing with this short-term immediate issue of these stockpiles, there's also a big focus for government on providing grants to support building the infrastructure to make sure that this material in the future does get recycled.